Allow me to read you all. Munenusu. Ama nyonge lume ya mama ojomo. Munenusu ni wazari mnyote. Katika jina. La wana wete Yesu Christo. Wana zifiwe. Wana zifiwe. You are here. Friends, boys, kwanza. Not by accident. Oto hapa, siyo kwa sababu ya chani. But, you are here by God's choice. Bungu ni ya niepanga. Wewe kulete mtoto hapa. Inezo kuwa metumia mbinu mingi. Lakini, mpango ni wamwenyezi mungu. Kapla sita sumumuza kwa maneno wabaye, ya metulete hapa, Kwa kusema, kwa msazi, being a parent, being a parent, is a great holy. Kwa msazi, ni wito. Ni wito kutoka kwa mwenyezi mungu. Sia mwote, wametunukiwa, kipawa, chakua, wazazi. Lakini ni wale ambao wameitwa, Dada kuhitwa kwa msazi wa kwanza voice ni wito kutoka kwa mwenyezi mungu. It is an opportunity. But if we don't use well, it will fly away. Ni nafasi ambao mebewa mara moja. Na usipa kumia odiyoma. Kama msazi wa kwanza voice high school. Hii nafasi itapotea. Kwa hivyo ni naoka kwa nilikefu. Jua ya kwa manibito na kwa hivyo ito. Utatumia nafasi kama msazi vizuri. Kitu itapili kuwa msazi. Sio ito peke yake. It is a commitment. Daka ni seno kukokea mtoto wako mdoko. Akia muka mapema. Wengi hawa kukua na lala. Kwa mzazi is a commitment. Wengine hawa kulala. Sijui ni waze ama wa mama ni hawa kulala mtoto wa kiwa mdogo. Ni waze ama wa mama. Ote. Ote. Ni wa mama. Lakini uchungu wa mwana ajwai ni baba yake. Sinto? Pikia waze magofi. Hii unakata kwa mwana ya pati. Ujungu wa wana ajwae nani? Ni msaji ni wote kwa wili. Mungina ni mwakua ajijuli kune matani, mungina ni mwombe ajiumia. Kwa hivyo, usazi ni kujitolea. It is a commitment. Akio mdogo unajitolea. Akia amsa kujitolea, unajitolea. Akiingia primary, unajitolea kumumua fiatu, unajitolea kumumua sare za shule, na akiingia friends, panza, unajitolea lansa utalipa school fees, upende, usipende. Ndari kuambie, unajitolea, kuna garama. Kuna garama ya kusomesha Lakini Darama kubwa Ni ujina wa mto Bato wa mai Ya kusomesho darama yake ni kubwa sana Lakini ni ya masomo Iko na darama Yaki Ya kwa mamisho kwa kazi yaya Ya kusema Being a parent is About consistency Ako kaja hii kazi Kama bado Unaishi Hata wale kupita university, hata wale kazi, bado wewe ni mzazi. Don't be treat, no salenda. Hakuna mungina utaachia ni majukumu ya. Kwa sababu ni wito. Unamanya mtokea mwanzo, bata mshu. Be a parent of Kwanza, boys, high school. One of the great institutions. I want to remind you of three things. Number one, we are here by choice, not by chance. Toto hapa kwa kuchakua. Hakuna mtu wa nipigwa kibogo kuja hapa. Kila mtu 
kuhusu ana kijambua na Mungu alimsaidia to choose the right school therefore we are here by choice kwa hiyo usishurutisho kufanya chochote fanya kwa uamuzi ni kama kila boma ambayo tuko tulichaguliwa na Mungu ama tulichagua kuwa pale kama hii shule we are here by choice from the deliver ule chini pesa hapa it is a choice from my situation to kwanza it is a choice from kid kale to kwanza it is a choice kwa hivyo hii uamuzi wako Mungu atusaidie tuweze kupata matokeo yaliyo bora. Na hii matokeo kutoka yaliyo bora sio kazi ya mwalimu peke yake. Sio kazi ya elimu principal peke yake. Ni kazi ya kila mmoja wetu. Mniruhusu niwabakia hadithi moja siku moja. Panya nilitembea kwa ya mkulima. Na ikachungulia, ilipochungulia ndani ya mkulima, nyumba ya mkulima ikawa mtego wa panya. Panya inakasirika sana. Ikaenda ikaambia nguruwe ambaye alikuwa amefukwa na mkulima. Alimwambia nguruwe, "Watu wa pocho ni na ubiri pocho ni na upetu ni kanzoni." Na ubiri parokia inaitwa Emmanuel na sokoni. Ocho watu wa ndogo kati ile wako na mnyama inaitwa lotura. Yaani nguruwe ya kusukuma. Sisi jebogos tunaita tore, kwa sababu tunaita tore. Yaani ndiye akapata hii nguruwe. Na akamwambia nguruwe, "Ninaona mtego wa panya kwa nyumba." Nguruwe ikaangalia panya ikasema, "Wewe unaona tunafanana na wewe." Mimi ni mnyama mkubwa, wewe ni mdogo. Hii mtego wako inanihusu mimi. Mimi sina haja na wewe hata unapoteza wakati wangu. Baadaye akaenda akapata ng'ombe. Akamwambia ng'ombe hii ndio msumika kuna mtego wa panya kwa ng'ombe. Ng'ombe akamtembelea na sawa hivi kaangalie na uniangalie. Mtego ya panya hainuhusu kabisa. Usiku panya haikuenda kwa nyumba ya mkulima. Yoga ndio ikatembea. Yoga ilipotembea ikashikwa na mtego ya panya ikashika mkia. Yoga ilikuwa imekasirika sana inataka kuuma nani ameshika. Na usiku kitu likitokea sijui nani anaokaka mapema ni mama ama ni mzee. Eh? Mama Amtaki kuniambia tena. Nani anamtaka anaweza kuona? Oh, ni mzee, wengine wanasema mzee, wengine wanasema mama. Kwa hiyo familia mama ndio atakuta haraka. Na atakao kwenda kuona ni nini atashika. Umbe kushika hapo karibu na mtego, nyota ile kwa imetasirika ikamuuma. Mama akapiga nguru. Alipopiga nguru wakatafuta taa wakaasha wangalia amemua na nyoka wakapiga hiyo nyoka wakaua na wakapeleka kwa daktari wa kienyeji kwa hiyo daktari wa kienyeji alipoangalia hiyo nyoka akasema sumu yake ni mbaya sana yeye alikuwa kwa doctor akasema hiyo sumu yake ni hatari sana na wewe mama utapona mpaka ukunywe supu ya nguruwe huyo mkulima alipoambiwa hiyo report akarudi nyumbani alikuwa na nguruwe moja ile nguruwe iliyoambiwa ikachinjwa na wakakunywa supu yake lakini kama kanga za mganga hazikumsaidia huyu mama akafariki ukakuwa na masika ukakuwa na matanga naona hiyo kwa matanga ndani zingine lazima wachinje ngombe na hiyo ndio wakati hiyo ngombe moja hiyo ngombe ita hiyo nataka niwaambie hii ni mtego ya pani ya kuanguka au kupita kwa shule hii sisi tutanaswa ndani kote hata ndio ameita 
wazazi. Unaongea form 1, kwambia safari ambayo iko miaka 4. Na kuambia hivi msiwe fais. Failure is a choice. Success is a choice. You are here as a choice. Let us choose success. Number two, we are here to leave a mark. Leave not a mark, a scratch. Remember when you were 2024? When you were going to go on Sunday, when you were a child, when you were going to care when you were going to leave, how was Sunday when you were going to go to school? How was Sunday? wali motivate kwa limo hao wazazi watoto wao wote walienda university hii safari tunaanza sasa na ndio niambie sote tuko kwa hii safari dapo la tatu we are here for a reason and for a season wakati wa kwanza second friends wewe kwa mwanamzazi hapa imeanza masiku yanazidi kukatika Mungu atusaidie wakati tutaondoka tuondoke tukiwa tumetimiza lengo lile tulete hapa There are two kinds of parents Great parents and gross
kutia maji rubi. Okay, tumani, mungina unayatua shilingi kwa mbili. Wewe, shilingi shilingi, ni unamuachia. Bebe ni mwomize na ni kwa mbili. Lama una mtoto, anijua hauna. Lakini kama uko nae, lakini unekwamio mtoto, anajua. Wanaksaji wengine, they impact their children. Bajuko na wazaji wengine, wanaje hui watoto wao. Zazi mtoto mwanda usiana alimipigi alithi ya usu wa papansa. Ya kama baba yake ya kuwa nina kuchukua pesa ya basari na anausa. Anapewa kehoro, anenda kukunyo, anapewa na jet, anenda kwa CTF mbatuwe black jet. Anapewa na uwa kipea. Hali mtoto siya kia kujua kalijua. Raya seme kwa upenu. Ya kama kuna wazazi kuniei. Amai! They make a positive impact on their children. But they are those parents who injure their children. But they are not going to be able to do that. They are not going to be able to do that. They are not going to be able to do that. Kaya ni kwambie kuna mtoto mwenye atenda secondary Kwa 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 mwisho Haku wae mpata Mwene kwa kwa mpata na mfasa Kupeleka mtoto secondary Tukuru mungu Tukulita Kuna baraka ya kusomesha Kwa mtoto Leave an impact On those children Na wakiroka leo Wanakiwa mwenye Wanakiwa wakitoka hapa Ni kwa 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 nisha tupe kwa na kukumadisha kwa atimu kila pahali ni kukumbana na unaanja majerui kwa watoto unaanja yumbali haka atisoma aile uitu kote wengine wanaleta manena ya yumbali na kuja kwa unyo pato haka unajua ole mama yako ama mama yako alimanya A, B, C, D unaanja mtoto na majerui na kuomba kwa neema yaki mwenyezi mungu Uwito kapa Make a positive impact Mwagie hee Anaweza Hey my child He is the best Hata kama mbago wa kafika hapa Mwagie you can make it In Jesus name Apana waka hee Na mwagie hui Apana waka hee ya hisi Kwa kwa mtoto mwagia amenda shule nikile ni afadhali Ujita hee
Wamenukia kwa leo mtoto mama yangu. Kwa hiyo mtoto ameenda akasoma. Baba yake akafariki akaenda akakuwa daktari. Alipokuwa daktari siku ya harusi yake. Huyo mwalimu ndio alimshika kama mzazi. Hapo watoto yubaleza bila kipa or ninja. Naomba kwa neema ya Mungu ndio Hata kwa walimu na principal Leo kuna wengine wataacha principal na impact na kuna wengine wataacha principal na inja. Uamuzi ni wangu. Nilikuwa naubiria principal huko Western. Si Western ya Bali, Western ya Rift Valley. Kitu nini? Na watu wangu 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 wimbo hapo wangu wenyewe, hapo wangu. Hapo wangu wenyewe, hapo wale wao. When you leave the principal when an injury or an impact. Hata boss na watoto ambao wako
kama kiboko anatendeleza vizuri mume wake alikuwa hapo karibu akasema hapana usipige yeye amelika tu niko tabia nyingine unataka kuunda mtoto lakini unasahau ya kwamba hii tabia ukifunguza DNA si mtu mwingine ni wewe mwenyewe is fire with your character number two is fire with your competence i know where we got it kusoma soma ko inspired mwambie hadithi baada soma tu mambo mengine inspired Dead parents are always 
inclined towards God. Wazazi waliogobea. Sio wazazi. Alaye ni wazembe. Wao they are inclined to God. Today I want to tell you of a story. The story of a woman by the name of Hannah found in the book of First Samuel chapter 1 and 2. By the way, for those who study Siri, who study Siri? Siapo wanafuta Siri? Yeah. Obanza. Maana nimeongea na board chair. Ni mlinzi au mtulaji wa kanisa la Friends marafiki. They are very polite but very strict. Nini ambayo unasoma siari kitabu cha first and second samuel the author is anonymous haijulikani ni nani aliandika baada ya kutumia kitabu cha prophet Nathan God and Samuel and combine information na akaandika hizi kuhusu watu watatu three rows in the book number one, first hero aliitwa Samuel Second hero anaitwa Saul. Na the third one anaitwa David. Leo mniruhusu niongee kuhusu mama ya mmoja. Wazazi wapendeke watoto wao mali au watoto wao kuabisha kwa kichichi. By the actions that you take. Leo one every parent has their own challenges. Kila mzazi hapo na changamoto yake. Kwa hiyo ni changamoto mwingine kwa sababu ya mpango wa Mungu na hali you are raising the child alone. Wengine wako wawili. Wengine wanakaa pale tofauti. Wengine hali ya kiuchumi ni ngumu. Every parent have their own challenges. Hata ana alikuwa na challenge yake ingawa alikuwa mzazi wa Samuel. Yeye kwanza alikuwa na mtoto Pili mama ambaye alikuwa anae anaitwa Hana si yake alikosa mtoto bila yake pia alikuwa anadharauliwa na mke wake sana bwana mwambie wewe sasa wewe unjoy my mtoto ni mfanye nini kwa hiyo Hana sisi zazini wa mtoto wake ni wanadharau wanasema hakuna mtoto ambaye ataenda kupoti kwa hiyo familia hiyo familia hakuna ataenda kwa bi challenges to be part Hata ingine wanakuwa na challenges za kuingilia kwa penye mtoto ameenda. But I want to say every parent have their own challenges. Unakubali ulelewa na challenges ama ukubali overcome the challenges. Hata finances kila mzazi hapo na changamoto ya kifedha. Kila mzazi anakuwa na unique challenges ya kuhandle watoto lakini usikubali kulemewa challenges kumali kulemea challenges hata kumbuka the most successful parents have challenges now as i conclude hana how was she inclined to god and she became a successful parent kitu cha kwanza alimgeukia mungu kwa maombi god to god in prayer kumbuka kuombea watoto kila wakati ongea watoto wako hasa ukiombea yule ambao umeleta mwaka huu muombee mwaka baada ya kufanya KCC afanikiwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo pray as wengine they have never prayed for their children they only complain lakini hawa hapa wao bali peke wengine wengine kila wakati kusumbuka wanasahau kuomba Leo naomba usisahau. Hata leo naomba na challenges. Pray about your children. Don't do trust God. Utumaini Mungu katika hali zote. Trust God. Ana trusted in God. Na mwisho akapata kipao ya mtoto anaitwa Samuel. Trust in God, he will give you school fees. Trust in God mtoto akamaliza bila changamoto. You continue informing him, you continue inspiring, you continue impacting the child. But also 
trust in God. Mungu atatumia watu, atakutumia wewe na utapata school fees. Umekosa imani? Wewe ni mimi. Umekosa imani? Nataka nikwambie haitafika pahali. Trust in God. Sio ya mimi nilikuwa ni shida school fees. Nilitakiwa balance ya 5000 6. Ukiwa na school fees ya 5600 bucks, sio ile pesa mingi, ilikuwa 1997. By the way, mimi nilimaliza form 4 nilikuwa na miaka 16. Lakini baada ya kumaliza form 4, nilipokuwa form 3 si kwa kidogo mzuri sana, lakini Mungu akanipatilisha. My parents inspired me. My father, mzee alikuwa na ndugu yake Jesus, alitutangulia kwenda kule bibi na mama John. My elder brother I remember Alex. Na hata nimerudi kusoma nikiwa mzee, my wife akakuwa kama mzazi. Hata alikuwa akijoka anasema report card ya college. Utanielekea. Alikuwa anaenda kusoma masters. You are beautiful, Mr. Nandabi. Na group yake walilipia school fees ya masters yote na pia ilikuwa kwa draw miaka 6 kimini. Kesozi ambaye ni suspendiwa ni kwa form 3 na wale niandikia report ya kwamba God spare you back the school is not a laughing matter it was a school council you are sad this class and evil minded why is all supposed to be mixed with the right thinking parents yani walikuwa niangalia ni wanaikana beyond repair thank god kuna watu walitumaenia Mungu they spare me nikaanza kusoma degree diploma nikaanza kusoma degree nikasoma masters na yuzi pendi pendi wakati wa corona nika graduate na phd hata kwa watoto wako it is possible let's do our part as parents kumtumaini mungu kitu kingine that the faithfulness of god sees mungu ni mwalimu Aliyechunga mtoto wa wa Hana Samuel mpaka akaanoint kids alichukua kwa mama aliyeraudiwa mtoto wake ndio akaweka kids wa wili wa kwanza wa Israeli mafuta kwa sababu gani aliamini uaminifu wa Mungu hata kwa kweli muaminifu ataongoza watoto watamaliza fufu Mungu atakusaidia sisi kufanya sehemu yetu na ambaye inabakia tuanishe. Na unajua wakati mimi usiende kudanganya. Kama hakuna elezea mwalimu nikipata nitalete. Na ukipata unaomba Mungu akupe na umpeleke kwa hoteli. Unataka siku kwa hiyo school fees ikitokea mandazi na kuatana. Siku kwa hiyo. Na hata huku inatanuka sana. Na mpenzi wangu anapiga simu anasema hauna na Mungu anajua kwa nini. Sikio nini watu wakikula kwa hoteli na ikiwa kalimu wakimaliza wanalipa mafurahi. Hata wanaambia huyo kitu ni kitu. Mimi mwanangu kwa siku hizo kundi sio. Sasa hivi. Na leo ndio kikundi uso ndio Mungu anapeleka hiyo baraka mbaya. Ningekuwa vizuri hata kulipa school fees na za mbaza fifi kwa kitu the change. Amboi mwili, yani unafurahia. Na Biblia inasema Mungu anapenda atoae kwa moyo mkufu. Ukifungua moyo na uangalie school fees kama wajibu sio kuzito, utamaliza kwa haraka. Unajua pesa ya mkana watu wanamaliza kwa haraka kushinda school fees. Tena wakati mwingine pesa zingine za sherehe ni rahisi kumaliza kushinda school fees. Lakini ukiona kama baraka ya sabu baraka Uzisema ni muziko wa school fees wa 40,000. Sema ni na baraka ya kulipa school fees ya 40,000. Na utoona itakuwa kazi raisi. Attitude is everything. Next today, na malizia hapa na rada kiketi chini. Ni ya kwa mba, mama kama aliyemishua mtoto anapata mfasi ya kwanza. Na yee, mtoto aliku maliza kumionyesha akampeleka nyumba ya Bwana na akachukua the first priority. Ndio wakati hapa you sacrifice many things. Unatembea saa zingine na viatu moja, mbango, lakini ukiwa kama mama hani mtoto mbele, mimi nyuma. Na baadaye 
dola la zao mzazi kwanza mtoto mimi nyuma nikimalizia huko na mzee mmoja alipeleka simu yake kwa spon repair Penyona tenenza si lazima simu ya bila mtoto ni simu Huyo jamaa akacheck anaambia mzee hapa ni simu simu ni sawa Mungu wa amani awabariki na injili lazima 